video we will discuss 11th program it says an electricity board charges a bill according to the number of units so this is the table as per the table the electricity board is charging the rate per unit and we have to create a program to accept total units consumed by customer and we have to display the total bill and we have to assume that the meter rent is fixed 150 rupees will be charged that is from the customer 150 will be extra added okay whatever charge we will calculate after calculating the charge we will add 150 rupees that is meter rent that is fixed okay so let us create this program so name of the class i have used here electricity and here i have passed one parameter units as per the requirement of the program here you can see our requirement is to accept units from the user okay number of units consumed so user will enter the number of units consumed and then we have to create the logic so if okay unit consumed so units okay since units will store the number of units consumed is less than so it is says if it is less than for first 100 units first 100 units means it may be one unit it may be two units or it may be 100 units so it may be it must be less than or equal to 100 okay so if user consume less than or equal to 100 units then we will find out the charges we will use one variable here let us declare variable double of double type charges and we will assign one value to it that is 0.0, .0. and uh, after that we will use a equal to symbol okay sign to assign the value that now if units are unit consumes are 100 or less than 100 then charges will be 80 pesa per unit so units into per unit means you have to multiply whatever the units consumed multiplied by 0 0.80 okay 0. 8 okay 0 0.80 and this okay so this will give you in the rupees okay so we have converted 80 pesa into rupees by dividing it by 100 so we can write in this manner and now next is if now for if unit for next 100 units next 100 units mean next 200 units sorry for next 200 units this means still 300 units charges will be uh, 1 rupee per unit for exceeding 200 units for first 100 units charges will be 80 pesa per unit for next 200 next 200 means till 300 units 1 rupee charges will be applicable for each unit okay we can see here so how we will use here units if units is greater than equal to 101 and less than 300 units are less than equal to 300 okay you can see here next 200 units next 200 means 100 we have already calculated here and next 200 means till 300 okay exceeding uh, the 100 one so this if condition cover ups next 200 units now we will calculate the charges for next 200 units so for the first 100 units charges will be 100 into okay 100 because first 100 units we have already calculated that is 100 into 80 for the first 100 units the charges will be this okay and plus the exceeding if user enter let us suppose 101 if user has composed uh, in this variable user entered 101 this means uh, the electricity consumer has consumed 101 units of electricity then for first 100 units charges will be what 100 into 8.80 that is in rupees that is 80 pesa if we write 80 pesa 80 divided by 100 so that will be this amount and it comes out to be 80 rupees for first 100 units and uh, for extra one unit we have to subtract that for extra one unit charge will be as per this rate that is one rupee per unit 
so if electricity consumed is 101 then units minus 100 okay so extra one unit will be charged as at the rate of 1 rupee so this is how we will okay calculate the for next charges for next 200 units now let us have a look on the last condition if unit consumes are above 300 units so here we have calculated first 100 then next 200 till 300 now above 300 units if units consumed is greater than 300 units okay of electricity then charges will be charges will be what charges will be calculated for the first 100 units charges will be as per 80 pesa and for next 200 units charges will be 1 rupee that we have already calculated okay and now for exceeding 300 so we will use here un for next 300 units that is exceeding the charges will be 2, uh, 2 rupees 50 pesa per unit so this means exceeding means we have to subtract the previous 300 and okay exceeding means exceeding 300s we have to calculate okay above 300s so above 300 means we have to subtract 300 from it so and we have to multiply it with definitely 2 rupees 50 pesa per unit so this will calculate the charges for this scenario okay so this completes this table we have created the logic for this table now we have to check out this rupees 150 okay we have to create the logic for this now it says after whatever the units are consumed we have to calculate the charges as per the table and customer has to pay fixed meter rent that is 150 okay including the charges so we will use here one more variable total amount total amt amount and we will assign this value 0, 0.0 and here we will use the same variable total amount is equal to 150 150 is the fixed meter rent that customer has to pay and then plus charges okay the charges as per the unit consumed okay that user will enter definitely while running the program and in the end we have to display the total bill that is to be paid electricity bill that is to be paid by the customer so we will use here this message one message total bill to be paid okay and we will display this total amount because this will store the total amount that is to be paid now if user enter here 101 okay uh, let us take the first scenario when number of units consumes are exactly equivalent to 100 so then definitely the charges he has to pay here will be calculated 80 rupees okay 80 rupees will be calculated here and charges will be 80 rupees and as per the unit consume if user enter 100 value unit consumes let us suppose 100 unit use uh, let customer has consumed 100 units then 100 into 0 0.80 so the answer will be 80 so charges this variable will store value 80 and 80 plus monthly rent of meter that is 150 that comes out to be definitely 230 okay so this means if i run this code for the value 100 then definitely the output will be the it will be uh, this program will print total bill to be paid that is 230 230 rupees so I will click on compile and let us check it out we will click on this and we will enter here value 100 this 100 will get assigned to this variable units and then we will click on ok and you can see this is the total amount that we have to pay that customer has to pay that is 230 rupees for consuming 100 units of electricity now if user enter let us suppose the value here 101 so 101 is equivalent to 101 okay look this condition will be false 
now this compiler will check this test condition if okay at a time only one if will execute remember this so here it will um, as per the test condition okay become true if okay so as per the so here you can see this test condition is also true because 101 this 101 will be stored in this variable unit so 101 is greater than equal to 101 if 101 is not greater than but 101 is equivalent to 101 so this will result in true this relational operator now let us check this test condition 101 is less than equal to 300 101 is less than 300 yes it is not equal but it is less than 300 so this test condition will also result in true and this logical and will also result in true value so this statement will be executed now here the for the first 100 units charges will be we have calculated here 80 so definitely here will be 80 okay and for extra one unit that is exceeding one so it will be 101 minus 100 so that will be for extra one unit charge will be uh, definitely one rupee because you can see here for first hundred unit charge is 80 pesa per unit that we have calculated here okay so for first hundred units charges will be 80 rupees and then for exceeding one unit that is 101 minus 100 that charge will be one rupee so here will be 80 plus okay 80 plus 1 that makes 81 okay now let me remove this 80 to avoid the confusion so here will be 81 so this charge variable charges variable will store the value 81 and here okay this will store 81 so 81 plus 150 that makes 231 so definitely if total unit consumes is 101 then definitely the amount to be paid will be uh, 231 so let us check it out if i run this code program and we enter here 101 if we click on ok then you can see the total amount is will be paid by the customer for consuming 101 units of electricity will be 231 rupees so similarly we can check another for greater than 300 units like 350 units okay so total amount will be paid 555 rupees so this program is working as per the program statement